Welcome to Electron Line. Our next proof deals with supplementary angles. Here we are given two pairs of angles, and we're told that angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary angles, and angle 3 and angle 4 are supplementary angles, and that the measure of angle 1 equals the measure of angle 3. We're trying to prove that the measure of angle 2 must therefore equal the measure of angle 4. So we start with what is given. I didn't write everything down over here, but definitely that the measure of 1 equals the measure of angle 3. So what should we do next? Well, the fact that angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary angles, that means that their measure must add up to 180 degrees. So we can say that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 must equal 180 degrees. And we can say that the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 must also add up to 180 degrees because we can say that by the definition of supplementary angles. So why do we do that? Well, the only way that we can find a way to prove that the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 4 if we equate the measures of the angle. So that's what we're trying to do here. We're equating angle measures. Oop, I missed an E there. Or I should say an L, angle measures. There we go. So now that we've done that, we can say that measure of angle 1 plus the angle of, uh, measure of angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. And so we can say the same for 3 and 4. But then what can we also say is that the measure of angle 1 equals the measure of angle 3. So these are equal to one another. Hmm. Maybe the best thing to do at this point is to set these two equations equal to each other so we can make what we call a substitution. So we're going to write that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4. We simply substitute it 180 degrees for the sum of these two because that's also equal to 180 degrees. So we made a substitution. Why can we do that? Why are they equal? Well, that's equal because of what we call the substitution property of equality. And notice we have measure 2 that we want to equate to measure 4. We want to equate that these two are equal to each other. Also notice that the measure of angle 1 must equal the measure of angle 3. So in other words, I can make another substitution. Where's my color? Right here. So what I can do is I can take this here and substitute it for what this is equal to. Notice this is equal to the measure of angle 1. So I'm going to make another substitution. And therefore I can write that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 4. And again, I can use the substitution property of equality. Now we're almost there. Notice we have the measure of angle 1 on both sides. I can subtract that from both sides. I'm going to subtract the measure of angle 1 from both sides. If I do that, I end up with simply the measure of angle 2 equals the measure of angle 4. Why am I allowed to do that? Well, we're allowed to do that because of the subtraction property of equality. And notice, if I take a look at this, that looks exactly the same as I was trying to prove in the first place. And so therefore, we've proven that the measure of angle 2 indeed equals the measure of angle 4.